In this chapter, we will learn how to configure the rack environment in archive log mode, as well as configure its overall backup needs. The first thing that we need to do and understand is what it takes to place the rack environment in archive log mode. Traditionally, in a single instance environment, it's very, very simple. You shut the database down, do a startup mount, issue a single command, which is called alter database archive log, and then say alter database open, and back up your database, and life is good. In a rack environment, it's still not that hard. However, we have to go through a couple of steps. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to set my environment to my database environment, which is going to be ORCL. Before I do that, I want to take a look at some of the initialization parameters and I'm going to go ahead and do an LS over here. And what I've done is I've actually taken a copy of my SP file and I've placed it into an ASCII text file, which is called the init or CL ORA file, which is this file right here. And we have to take a look at a specific parameter. And the parameter that we're interested in is this guy right here. Cluster database is set to true. We cannot put the cluster database in archive log mode while this parameter is still set to true. So what we have to do is set it to false, shut the entire database down, start up an individual instance, and then put it in archive log mode, set that parameter back to true, and then bounce the database. So there's a couple of additional steps here that are required to place a rack environment in archive log mode, and they kind of have to be done in this order, otherwise the database isn't going to be completely in archive log mode. Let's take a close look at this. I am going to go into SQL Plus, and I'm going to go to sys password one, as sysdba. This is really kind of a bad example. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my Etsy or a tab file. What I want to bring to your attention is I set my environment variable to ORCL. So when I log into SQL Plus, it says, wait a minute, I'm trying to log in as the ORCL instance. I don't have an ORCL instance. I have an ORCL database. What I kind of like to do is cheat a little bit. And I'm going to go to Etsy or a tab. And what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to put in the entry ORCL1, user1, app, oracle, product, 11.2.0, db, home, underscore one, colon, n. What this will do for me is it will set my environment variables to the instance ORCL1. All the parameters and everything and all the environment variables will be set but I'm going to specifically log into this instance ORCL1, which makes kind of my SQL plus commands a little bit easier. If I set my environment variable to ORCL, then I have to log in through TNS, and I have to go in through a specific listener scan or a listener. Here, if I set it to ORCL1, I know that I'm going to log into that specific instance ORCL1, and I don't have to set anything else. Let's set the environment variable to ORCL1. Now you can do this little trick for both nodes. If you do this to node two, you would set a value in the or tab file to ORCL2. So now when I set it to ORCL1, I can just say SQL plus system password one. And I know I'm going directly into the ORCL1 instance. And to verify this, I can say select username and instance ID from GV dollar session where the username is equal to system. And these guys right here are probably in other environments. And I know I'm logged into instance one. So I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to go to SQL plus as sysdba. If I didn't set that environment to ORCL1 as opposed to ORCL, I'd have to give it a username, a password, then a connection string. Here I know it's just going to be authenticated to that instance. Now I have to issue this command. It's going to be alter system set cluster database is equal to false. I have to give it the command scope equal sp file. If I don't give it the scope sp file, it will error out on me. There are certain initialization parameters that are dynamic and certain ones that are static. The definition of them being dynamic is that they can be changed on the fly. The definitions of them being static means that they will not take effect until the next time the database is bounced. The parameter cluster database, that is a static parameter, so I have to give it the flag scope is equal to SP file, which means write this change to the SP file. It does not take effect until I restart the database. So now let me exit out of here. 
What I've always said is that we will now use server control commands to start and stop the database. You will not use SQL plus commands to start and stop the database. Here I was in as sys and as sysdba. Now I could have issued a shutdown command, but that actually would not have shut down the database. It would have just shut down that instance. I'm going to say server control stop database dash D or CL. So this is going to bring down the database or CL. Now the next thing I'm going to have to do will be to mount the instance. To mount the instance, I can issue a server control command, start database, dash D, give it the dash I for the instance ID, and then the option of mount. So if we do a server control, start, we can start a database. We're actually going to give it the options. And really what I need to do here is start the instance for a specific node. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do a server control, start database, dash D, or CL, dash O, mount. Now what I need to do is I'm going to have to log into the specific instance under SQL plus and then issue the alter database archive log command. Once the database has been shut down, let's verify this. We'll do a server control status database dash D. You see that it's not running on node one or node two. I'll need to verify that I'm going to set my environment variable to ORCL1. So what we've done is that we've given the command to take it out of cluster database mode. We've shut the database down. On node one, we're specifically identifying an instance, so ORCL1. Now I'm going to go into SQL plus as sysdba. Now here I'm going to issue the command startup mount. Now this is no different than what we would normally do in a single instance environment. We take the database out of clustered mode, shut it all the way down. From one specific instance, ORCL1, we're going to go ahead and start it up. It's basically starting up this instance. The database is mounted. Now we'll issue the command alter database archive log. The database is now in archive log mode. Now the next thing we need to do is say alter system set cluster database is equal to true, scope is equal to SP file. So now we're putting it back in clustered mode. Then I'm going to issue the shutdown immediate command. So now we're going to bring the database down. Now we're just going to go ahead and bring the database up. And we're going to use our server control commands. And let's go ahead and set my environment to ORCL. Server control start database dash D on ORCL. And then I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to validate that the database is in archive log mode. In a rack environment, it is just a little bit different. Take the database out of cluster mode, bring it up from one specific instance. So you're just going to bring up that one particular instance. You can do that with SQL plus, or you could even do that with the server control start instance command. However, that doesn't actually take you into SQL plus. So my recommendation is set your environment to a specific instance, do a startup mount, place it in archive log mode, place it back into clustered mode, shut it down, and then start it back up again. Now the database is in archive log mode. When we go out and we begin to back up our database, we can back up our database hot, we can recover it hot, all of the backup and recovery options are still there. So if we do a server control status database dash D, we can see that it's up and running on both node one and node two. Now if I do a SQL plus system password one at ORCL, I'm going to connect to the Oracle database. And now if I say select log mode from V$ database, I can see that my database is in archive log mode.